Hey guys and welcome back. In today's video we're going to be going through some different steps you can try to fix your Amazon Fire TV device. I actually just ran into this problem where I couldn't launch any of my particular applications. So I'm going to go through the steps that fixed my particular issue but then I'm also going to go into some other options if this first step doesn't work. So if you're unable to launch any of your applications you can simply do a reset on your system by unplugging it from the wall, taking away its power source, waiting about 30 seconds and then plugging it back in. But if you don't wanna do that, you can also just take your Amazon Alexa remote and press this circle button here in the middle as well as the play pause button and hold those both down at the same time for about five seconds or so and then that's gonna restart your system. So as you can see now, our Fire TV is powering off. It's gonna go through a restart phase and once we come back, We'll go through some of the other steps if that doesn't work for you. So we rebooted our system. We're back up on the home page. And to check to see if that works, just go to your applications and try to launch them. If they're still not launching, then the next step we're going to see is if you have a good solid internet connection. If you don't have a strong internet connection, then that might be why your applications aren't launching and loading properly. So to check on that, we're going to take our Amazon Alexa remote and we're going to hold down the home button. That's gonna open up this options page here. We're gonna go over to settings. And once we're on settings, we're going to go down and over to our network and we're gonna click on that. And then currently we're connected to our wireless signal here and you can see the signal strength there is very good. You wanna make sure that you have a very good, excellent, strong type of connection. If it's poor, weak, or unconnected, then that might be your issue. So maybe restart your wireless router or get your Amazon Fire TV device in a situation where it has a more direct path to that Wi-Fi signal. So it's getting as much of your internet bandwidth as possible so it can use that to launch the applications. Now, if that doesn't work, if you already have a good signal strength and your applications still aren't launching, and more in particularly, if it's just one app and not every single app, now we're going to go through and show you what you can do to try to troubleshoot one specific application. So again, take out your Amazon Alexa remote and hold down that home button. And then again, go over to the settings. And then go down and over to applications. Once you're on the applications, click on that. And now we're going to go down to manage installed applications and whatever particular application you're having issues with, you can find it in this list. Let's just say, for instance, we're having trouble with only ESPN, but all of our other apps are working. So we're going to go ahead and select that. The first thing I would recommend is force stopping the app. And after you force stop it, then launch it again to see if it works. If it doesn't work after doing a force stop, I would recommend clearing out the data and the cache. And after you clear out the data and cache, you're gonna to have to re-log in and link it to your account. But after you do that, you can launch the application again. And if that doesn't work, the last piece of advice I would say is just completely uninstalling the app. And once you uninstall it, you can go back into the store, search for the ESPN application, reinstall it, and link it to your account again and see if that works. So those are three different options that you can go through to try to get one specific app to work again. So we went through a bunch of different steps here, guys, to try to get your Amazon Fire TV device working properly. Hopefully one of these steps was able to solve your issues. For more of these types of videos, click that subscribe button and check out all of our Amazon Fire TV device videos on our YouTube channel. If you have any comments, throw those down in the comment section or questions, and I'll get around to answering those when I can. Thanks guys for stopping on in. We hope to see you in future videos. Bye.